primary role of the chaplain is to preserve the constitutional First Amendment right of every soldier to the free exercise of religion. We serve on the commander's personal staff, and our job on behalf of the commander is to make sure that the religious support of every soldier and family member is provided for. We perform what we can based on the tenets of our own particular faith and endorsement, but what we can't provide ourselves personally, we make sure there's another chaplain or resources available. As uh, General George C. Marshall in World War II said, it's a soldier's spirit that sustains him in battle. And so chaplains make sure that there are religious and spiritual support that's provided in the form of worship services, counseling, referrals. Uh, you know, usually the first person that, that when someone has a problem that they say, go talk to the chaplain. And so we provide that support. We also provide, again, the religious services and memorial services, funerals, that sort of thing uh, for the command to take care of the soldier's spiritual needs and welfare. And so chaplains do everything within their ability to accommodate religious practice as far as resources allow and encourage the commander to support that accommodation of religious practice so far as the mission allows. So uh, we, we will support any and every soldier in the dictates of their faith so they can practice their faith to provide them spiritual nurture and support and comfort.